Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today's video is going to be an update on a prior video that I did on player collisions. In the previous video, I set it up so that when two players collide or run into each other, one of the players plays an animation. Some of the bugs, though, that I noticed with the script, it was kind of random as far as which player plays the animation. And also, as soon as the player walks away or tries to do some other action, it stops the animation. To fix the first problem, what I did is set up a simple way to make one of the players the tagger. And the way I did that was having one of the players touch the part in the background. So once that player touches the part, now he's the tagger. And then when he touches another player, he's the one who plays the animation. And if I tag this player and walk away, then it still does the animation. Let's go ahead and dive in and I can show you what I did to update this script. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is just kind of go through the scripts and show you the parts that I had to update to make this work. The first thing I did to make one of the players a tagger was I had a part with a script on it and I'll go ahead and show you what I put here. What I'm doing with this script is whenever the player touches this part, it's adding a new boolean value to that player. And the boolean value is either a true or a false value. And the reason I'm doing this is to designate one of the players as the tagger. That way later on when the two players collide, you can check to see which player has this boolean value attached. And then whichever one has it attached, you can cause that player to run the animation. So obviously if you want to incorporate this into your game, you don't want to have to have players like find a random part in the game to touch it to be the tagger. So in the future what I'm going to work on is either add a GUI button or something when the player is spawned where they can choose to either be the tagger or not. For now though, this was just a way to simply test it to see if the idea would work. The next script is under server script service and for this one I didn't have to make any changes. Under the server storage I just had to make a small change inside of the function. So right here is where I'm checking to see which player has the tag attached to them which comes from the part touch. And that's the player that I'm going to run the animation script for. And lastly under the starter player scripts and the local script, the last change I had to make was this sign right here which allows the animation to play even when the player is moving or doing other things. The biggest update for this script was just finding a way to designate some players as taggers and others as not. That way when the collisions happen you can check to see which player is the tagger. The updated scripts are going to be linked down in the description so you can just copy and paste it into your game. I'm going to continue working on these scripts to come up with a better way to divide the players into the two different categories, either the tagger or the not tagger. When I finish that up I'll post another video and explain the changes that I had to make. For now though, this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one. <music>